Hello, it's Dr. Scott Watson with a brief video to go over the ins and outs of sharing documents in your Google Drive. Right now you'll see I have a Google document in a folder in Google Drive. I'm going to add an audio file by dragging and dropping it into the screen here, into the folder. And that's copying down there. And then I'm also going to um, add an image. So we'll have uh, a Google Doc. We'll have a um, audio file, the one that I'm, there it is, it uploaded. And I'm also going to drag in an image, okay? And so I have these three files to work with. Um, you know, maybe I'll do one other thing. I'll also create a folder. So let me click on new and a new folder. And let's just call this folder. We'll call it folder example. And that will be our fourth item that we try to share from Google Drive. So there it is. I'm going to make the folder, give it a color over here, change color. Uh, let's make it green. Okay. So for instance, if I wanted to share this Google Doc, I would select the Google Doc by clicking once on it. Now watch what happens if I click twice on it. It opens up the Google Doc. So, And you can share the Google Doc from, from the open document, right? There's a share button up here. We'll talk about that in a minute. But let's just go back to the Google Drive. Um, and if I click once on it, I'm selecting it, it's highlighted. Then I click on this share icon. It's basically a, a human head with a plus sign, you know, add somebody. Now we get uh, the share window. Now this has changed recently in Google and it's likely to change again in the months or years ahead. So just try to look at this conceptually uh, rather than specifically. Anyway, so we're gonna look for a way that we can share it. Now, if I wanna share it with a specific person, I click on here and I can see some contacts that I've shared with. So I could choose a contact to share it with. And now I've shared this uh, folder with that contact. But a lot of times you just want to share it with everybody, you know, anybody who has the link can open it. So down here where it says get link and it's restricted, let's click on change to anyone with the link. That's the safest thing to do if your um, file isn't that uh, sensitive and, that, and you don't mind sharing it. Because that way when you send a link, you can be sure they'll be able to open it. So we're going to say anyone with the link. We're not going to choose the restricted option. And now once we've uh, changed that, um, we can say do we want them to view it? Or do we want them to be able to add comments? Sometimes you want them to be able to comment on it. Or do you want them to actually be an editor? Can they you know, be a co-creator with you? So in many cases, you just want um, view, or maybe if you're turning in a document to a teacher, you want them to be able to leave comments for you. So we're gonna just leave it to view, and we're gonna say copy this link, and then we're done. Now, if I go out um, on the web and paste in that address, um, I will go right to that document, right? So I just shared that document um, with anybody who happens to have that link, okay? Or maybe I would send an email to somebody with that link, or maybe I would paste that link um, into a uh, learning management system like Schoology or Canvas or um, Blackboard or something like that. Okay, so that's sharing the Google Doc. Now, I did want to show you that if you double click on the doc, while you're inside the document, you can also click on the share button. That's the blue button there. And you'll get the same um, share window that we talked about before. Of course, now the document is shared with anyone on the internet, right? Because we had made that change before. Okay, let's go back out to Google Drive and say instead of sharing a Google document, we want to share an audio file. So we select that once, click the head again. Uh, let's change it from restricted to anyone with the link uh, can view it. Uh, view it in this case means hear it and then say copy the link right and then we're done and now if you go out um, onto the internet and paste that link in uh, somebody having that link would take you right to this audio file and right they're hearing the audio then right so you've just shared the audio with them okay let's go back to the google drive this time and let's choose an image now, again, if I double click on the image, I'm gonna actually see the image. And once I see the image, I could go up to these three little dots here, get the share, um, the share tool, and there's my share window again. But I'm going from the, the standpoint that I'm actually in Google Drive, in a folder, and I don't wanna open it. I just wanna click on it once, right, to select it, click on the head with the plus sign, and then from there, um, say, hey, I'd like to share this with anybody, uh, get copy the link, Right, copy the link and done. And again, let's go out to the uh, the web, the internet, um, paste that and go to it, right? And then there's the image, right? Or that image could be downloaded, right? We could click on the download button and, and download that uh, example to our desktop or wherever. Okay, so we've done um, successful sharing here. The examples, oops, I lost my window, there it is. Uh, we've done ex uh, successful sharing of a Google Doc, 
of an audio file that was in a Google folder and an image file in a Google folder. Let's actually share a folder itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, let's do this. I'm going to drag from the desktop to uh, those, that audio file and the image file uh, from the desktop and drag it right into the folder. Okay, and now it's being copied into the folder. It'll take a minute. When it does copy it into the folder, because I'm dragging it anew from my desktop, from, from my computer, it those iterations of those files are not going to be shared. They're going to be brand new again. So we can tell that a file is shared when we see this double head icon. It says shared. That's the icon for shared. Whereas right now this folder is not shared. And if I double click, let me close this. If I double click on the folder and go in the folder, I can see that these are not shared either. These are protected. Nobody else can see them but me. So what I'm going to do is go back out to the folder, select the folder itself, right? Not double click, but just single click on the folder and then hit my share um, icon. And now I'm going to say, let's share the whole folder. You know, anybody with the link can get into that folder. Now watch what happens. I'm going to go out onto the internet and the shared link to the folder takes me into the folder. And you notice what is there? It's the share icon, right? Those folder, uh, those files that were in that folder automatically are shared because the folder was shared. Now, say uh, you're in a class where an instructor would like you to share an entire folder so that he or she can see anything in that folder. Then what you might want to do is, in this case, uh, ask your instructor for their email address and put that uh, in there and say send. And what that does is it means that instructor now will be able to get into that folder and have access to all the files that you place in the folder. In other words, you're sharing basically um, content through adding it to the folder. And that might be a simple way to set up, you know, a class folder um, for, for a class you're taking, or maybe a coworker uh, wants to get into a folder with files that they may need. And of course, you can always turn that off, right? Click on the share icon and I can say, you know, I don't want this person to be able to see anything. I'm going to remove. And now, uh, right now, um, I'm just going to go back to having that folder be shared with anybody who has the link and voila. I did want to talk about one more specific instance of sharing a folder in Google Drive with another, and that is when you are inside a protected network. So for instance, right now you're looking at a folder of mine inside of one of the universities for whom I teach, and that university has its own Google network. So for instance, if I click on this audio file, click on the head to share, now when I get the share link, um, notice it says um, I can share it with anyone at Cairn University with this link. But if I if I copy that link and then send it to somebody outside of the network, when they go to the, follow that that link, it's going to say, "Oh, you can't you can't view it. You don't have permission." So what you would still need to do if you really want to share it with anybody, you want to have the least uh, restricted um, sharing. You, you change that and say, "No, not just Cairn University, but anyone, anyone out in the whole wide world," uh, and then. Um, that's the link that you would uh, send to somebody and that would make it um, so that anybody can see it. I only mention this because this frequently happens when I'm asking a student to share a file with me from a university uh, at which I teach and then the student thinks they're sharing it with me but really uh, unless I'm signed in into that network um, I can't look at it. Uh, I just as soon have them share it with anybody rather than restricting it. So that's how you share um, both uh, Google Docs, um, files like the image file and the audio file, or even entire folders in Google Drive. Hope this has been helpful and uh, good luck.